Time now, 547. Let's get over to meteorologist Hannah Gard with our forecast. Thanks, Rob. We're looking at some heat today. It's going to be 82 degrees, but it does start off on the cooler side. Many of us are in the 50s this morning. We'll be in the 60s around 8, so you might need a jacket out the door, but do something you can layer up on because T-shirt weather by the afternoon will be in the low 80s through most of the day. As the sun goes down, though, it does cool off, but this is a lot warmer compared to where we were last week. We were in the low 70s after that cold front came through, but it's not quite as hot as right before that front where we were in the mid to upper 80s. So we've climbed back above normal as of yesterday, and we're going to continue to stay there all the way through this week. Our average right now is 79, but through the end of October, that falls by a couple more degrees. So this is pretty far above normal for the time of year as we get to the mid 80s, and it's gonna feel pretty warm. But our current temperatures, we are still seeing some 40s, so we have a couple more cool mornings. It's still dry for the most part, those dew points on the lower side. So we are seeing a couple of those 40s, low 50s in Slidell. We've even seen some 50s scattered in on the South Shore, but 60 degrees right now at the airport. The really cool weather though is where the fronts are passing by, which is on the western side of the country. This batch of cool air in the mornings is caused by high pressure that's sitting over the eastern U.S. So these little lows that bring the fronts, they're all to the north of us. That's where you're seeing the rain moving across Illinois, Iowa, and across the Pacific Northwest. But the reason they're going around us is we have high pressure down here to the south. That's this clockwise spin, and it's actually bringing in some clouds from this tropical system in the eastern Pacific. We're going to see those clouds maybe trying to move across our area today, but they're traveling around that high pressure that's building. So the fronts are going to stay north for the most part. I do think we could see maybe the tail end of this front that comes through in the later half of the weekend. It's not going to change our temperatures much, but it could increase the dew points actually by changing the wind direction, and it could be a little bit breezy. We'll have to watch for that. But we're seeing a little bit of patchy fog. It is a little hazy out there, especially down in the coastal areas where we have less than a mile of visibility. Bell Chase too, parts of the river parishes, because we're seeing an uptick in that moisture and the winds are calm across the area. That's why we're seeing cooler temperatures on the North Shore, but where we do have a little bit of moisture down to the south, that can allow that fog to form. So we're starting to get the moisture return, but it will be really noticeable later in the week where it's gonna feel a little bit muggier, but still not to that summer level where it feels really hot and buggy. It's going to just increase the lows for the most part because the dew point is as cool as we can get. So if it's higher, You'll see a change north and west of the lake. We'll be in the 60s in the morning by the later half of the weekend. That's going to feel a lot different from where we've been through the last week where we've had that nice fall crisp air out the door. So it's not going to be quite as cool. We still have, I'd say, about two days where it's going to feel a little bit cool out the doors still, especially North Shore. But then by the later half of the week, guys, in the weekend, it's mild in the morning and a little bit warm bordering on hot in the afternoon with that sunshine especially if you're going to be outside it's going to feel a little so, warm. I mean how long do you think we deal with this you know little tease of fall now we're back to this sort of trying to you know not get back to summer is is there another front coming down the pipes? I don't see one. <laughs> I don't see a big front. I think a lot of them are going to stay north of us right now until that high pressure moves out. That is what is dominating the weather pattern. It's also making it dry. We do need some rain at this point. It's been really dry, which is not unusual for October, but we could always use some rain for the plants out there. I don't really see that all the way through the end of October. Now in the long term, could we see a front for sure? And the temperatures aren't getting back to summer levels. Yeah. We're not going to get to 90 degrees, but it is going to be unseasonably warm. Just kind of this warm, dry limbo for. Yeah. Exactly. We're just waiting for, some for time. that next front. Yeah. Well, well I was going to say Christmas. You know, I'm, uh, I'll jump to Christmas. And <laughs> Halloween, <laughs> Halloween is uh, Halloween. just around the corner, so yes. hopefully it's, it's coming so our costumes can. Yep. Not, we can't be sweating in those costumes. I know. Yeah. Oh, that's not Halloween, right? No, at all. Doesn't all right, guys. Well, let's see what's happening on the roadways. This accident is still working on the shoulder. I to east bound of the Bonnie Carey Spillway at Mount Marker 215. Now, all lanes are open, but because of that activity is on the shoulder, we've got those folks slowing down from Laplace for the city. So expect at least a two mile.